Good day, viewers. Tech that stuff we're here. Welcome to part two of how to make a modern website. Now, first of all, um, we are going to set off the basic stuff basically. Um, so you need a HTML tag. So you have HTML, and then you'll have end it with it slash h t h t m l and that off. Then you're going to have to have a header. So we header h h e a d e r, then slash header, then hit the end it. And also you need three, two other things. So we need we're going to put in oops, body. So we go we're going to go put in slash body. Oh yeah, um we have to put in body first. So body, and we're going to need a footer, and something like this, footer, slash footer, Oops. slash footer, and end it off. It would be also good to space these out a bit, so if you want to be neat, um, really really neat, um, you go one, two, and one two and one two and one two so you've got everything sectioned off <coughs> just make everything look look great. It's nice so also you also want to press select the list press tab and these are all in different section it's much so everything's easy to read basically <coughs> now we are going to start with the um what's it called including stuff and the na navigation menu also in this one we also have to have a title of the um, web page um, so put a title it's also good to use all these tags title and also I'll, I'll keep it together like this slash c i t t i t l e and then we're going to give it a name um, Let's call it. Um, I don't know. Uh, this is called game. And yeah, that's it. And we also got to in. Also, we're going to include all of our JavaScript stuff and CSS stuff. So basically, um, I just copy and paste this code because. Says it says this time. This code basically just includes it, and it'll grab all the data. <laughs> really, realistically, you just need one of these: one JavaScript include, and this JavaScript include from the JavaScript file can also call other JavaScript files. So this makes it way more cleaner. <laughs> um, I didn't call it my JavaScript; I called it JavaScript. And now, it will now include whatever is in our JavaScript file. Now let's go to the, um, the other one, the CSS. I'll copy paste this too because it saves us time. And here we go. This will include our CSS styling sheet. So we, this is like the link of where it is. I didn't call it my style sheet. I called it styling. T-Y-L-I-N-E. Pretty sure that's right. Yep, I call it that. <laughs> Real, um, that's basically kind of like a name of it. Um, <coughs> as you see, that I'm good these. <coughs> Sorry, I got a bit of buff. Now, since we are using JavaScript, we're going to JavaScript and CSS. We're going to include an ID and class for for the body, footer, and title for basically all these tags. <coughs> so. In the CSS, we can just easily go back to it. So let's give it an ID. ID equals um, titles, and we'll do um, class. Class equals let's uh, call titles again. Um, Let's just call it, actually a better, better idea, let's just call it ID titles and CSS titles. 
So in the end score, that'll be better. So everything's more recognized. You can kind of do the same for it. So you can copy this. Um, you can put it in the header, I guess. But that will change everything in here. It's really everything. You can put it in the footer too. I think um, don't put it in the headers and stuff. Just put it in the main stuff, like the text, basically. But you, uh, you'll learn that later on. Now, <laughs> let's going to start with the navigation menu. I copy, I copy and paste most of this stuff because it saves a lot of time, really. But that's okay. I, I explain what everything is, but anyway. So you got your body. Now that we're putting this in. Oops. No, da data spy. Um, data spy. It's not what you think it is. It goes with scroll wheel, and okay. Basically, it's basically a scroll thing. So the menu comes with it, basically. It scrolls, and yeah. And now, guy, you're giving it target name, so everything knows where it is. This is the de type of data spy, basically. Data offset 50. Um, really, if you change this. You may not see much of a difference. It's like directional, kind of. Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's get to it. So we're going to need a nav menu. So um, let's include a nav menu. Oops. Um, tab this out. Navigation menu. What do we need? We're going to need dot nav. Nav. And we're going to have to give it a class ID. Um, class equals. This is all navigation stuff, by the way. We'll call it nav bar. And we'll call it nav bar dash inverse. You can call it whatever you want, really. Um, and I'll call it nav. Bar dash oops nav bar dash fixed because it's going to be fixed at the top dash top and then I'll end it oops and I'll end T O P okay that's that that looks about right now obviously end it end that tag. Slash nav. <coughs> um, if you don't know already, um, nav stands for navigation. It's just how things roll, by the way. <coughs> now, we're going to put in like a little heading, header thing. Um, so, yeah. we can give it a title. Um, we'll, actually, we make like a button. So we give it call it a button B U T T O N um whoops give it a class uh, class equals the buttons uh, and um give it ID ID equals B U T T O N S. End it. Space. Give everything an ID and class, so everything can can interact with anything on here with the JavaScript and CSS. So I'll call this ID underscore buttons, and I'll call this CSS underscore buttons. <laughs> now, if we refresh. Will we see anything? Yes, you see the button. We just make a navigation menu. Basically, this is the contact area, by the way. Um, so basically, this is where the content is. Um, this video is close to ending, but <laughs> this is just the start. Um, we've, we've finished it all later. So this is just where we're just getting everything set up, basically. We're putting the navigation stuff in and footer and body. So that's just the first part. It doesn't look like much yet, but it will get there. 
So I'll see you guys in the next video in part three. Uh, see ya.